Red alert. Democrats are sending out a holiday warning. Don't go to Thanksgiving dinner this year. Your conservative uncle might rat you out to the MAGA police. People are rightfully alarmed. They have a reason to be alarmed. If this thing goes way south, autocracies go south real fast and things get ugly and people get asked to do things and turn people in and point people out and and turn on them. If you think that you can vote for what people see as their destruction and then demand that they still are cool with you and kiki with you and have Thanksgiving with you, like, I think you're kind of missing the point. <laughs> Jerry, pass the stuffing. Wait, wait, wait. What sign did you have on your lawn? No one's getting turned in unless you're here illegally. Trump said his revenge will be success, not liberal work camps. Trump got some pretty bad news this week, and he didn't react like a dictator. The Senate wasn't going to confirm Matt Gates, So did Trump thrash about and dissolve the Senate? No. He respected the check and balance and picked a new attorney general. Not something Hitler would have done. We don't have a king. We don't have an autocrat. Yeah. Uh, we don't have a dictatorship. The yeah. framers were very clear that we have separate and co-equal branches of government. Uh, we've got checks and balances. Yeah. The Senate, I think, held. It did its job in terms of advice and consent. Mm -hmm. uh, and that is a good thing for America in terms of how we move forward. Trump swapped out Gates with someone who has a much better chance of getting confirmed, former Florida AG Pam Bondi. J.D. Vance says attorney general is the most important job in the government, only behind the president. Trump's had his eye on Bondi for a while. I'd consider Pam Bondi for anything. She's doing a very good job. She's always done a very good job. But in some form, in some form, I'd love to have her in the administration. Just like with every nomination, they're going to try to dig up dirt on Bondi. But all they've found so far is she's got a great resume. One reaction I got from inside the Justice Department last night was this is Matt Gates with a better legal resume. She will be every bit the loyalist that Matt Gates would have been, just with a little more legal experience and a little less baggage. Or so it seems. Pam Bondi is, without a question, qualified to be attorney general. That level of experience is on par with or better than most United States attorneys general that we've seen over the past 50 years or so. You know Bondi's a winner because the deep state sounds awfully nervous. Pam Bondi's one of those smart women. Mark Cuban said Trump avoids. Add her to the list. Tulsi Gabbard, Christy Nome, Stefanik, Susie Wiles. Cuban's eating his words. I have a message for Mark Cuban from all of us here tonight. Underestimate us. This is going to be fun. They underestimated MAGA. Now it's time for a little fun. The legal cases against Trump are withering away. The sentencing for the porn star shakedown has been indefinitely delayed. And the Fannie Willis trial is on its last legs. So the law fares on ice and the attorney general confirmation is looking smooth. Now Trump can focus on the rest of his administration. President Trump just filled a position very close to his heart. Treasury. Billionaire hedge fund manager Scott Bessent got the nod. Bessent's openly gay. I guess the gays aren't going to Gitmo. Next, Trump's going to shake up the FBI and the Secret Service. Former Secret Service agent Dan Bongino is being considered for director. Bongino has been very critical of the agency's top brass after Trump was almost assassinated twice over the summer. If Bongino gets in there, I guarantee you he's going to put an end to the cover-up and we'll finally find out what really happened in Butler and West Palm. And former Congressman Mike Rogers' name was being tossed around for FBI director. Not sure why. And then this happened. Mike Rogers is a totally reasonable, logical uh, uh, selection for FBI director. If, in fact, that's the decision uh, uh, President-elect Trump makes. Andrew McCabe endorsing Rogers, <laughs> that's the kiss of death. Not long after that, Dan Scavino said this, just spoke to President Trump regarding Mike Rogers going to the FBI. It's not happening. In his own words, I have never even given it a thought. Not happening. FBI director is a position Trump's thinking a lot about. He needs to get this one right. This is the same agency that wiretapped his campaign, cooked up the Russia hoax, covered up the laptop, and raided his house. Its current director, Ray said he wasn't sure if Trump actually got shot in Butler. Ray still has time left on his term, but he's either got to resign or make Trump fire him. 
It's his choice. The Washington Post is reporting that Trump's going to fire Jack Smith's entire team. They'll resign, too, if they had any dignity. We need the FBI and the DOJ to stop criminals and terrorists, not go through the first lady's underwear drawer. It'd also be nice to tighten up some of the agency's spending. You ready? A whistleblower says the FBI blew your money on stupid little office activities like a painting class where agents could get to know colleagues and unleash their creativity. Oh, and uh, they also did office yoga. Not sure why they just can't stretch on their free time. And there was lunch and coloring. They described it as a fun series of coloring sessions during lunch that you will get to see your colleagues' artistic sides. Elon, we found some government waste there. Trump's FBI director is going to have their work cut out for him. And so is every other person Trump picks. Trump wants to radically transform the government. It's what he campaigned on. It's what Americans voted for. In 2016, his agenda got swallowed up by D.C. bureaucrats and rabid Democrats. But Politico reports all the forces that were coming for him have been kind of defanged and obliterated. This time, it feels like Trump found his footing in Washington and has his people around him. They believe in his plan. Reporters who've been covering Trump for a decade say after two assassination attempts, four indictments and a landslide, Trump has a, quote, different sort of confidence and nerve. Trump's carrying the momentum from the election all the way to the inauguration. Then it's time for him to execute his vision without delay. Click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You won't get it anywhere else. Autocracy. Autocracy. Withering away. Withering away. Thrash. Thrash. Cut out four. Cut out four. Defong. Defong. Obliterated. Obliterated. Thrash. Thrash. He was so angry that he started to thrash around the room, knocking over furniture. The storm continued to thrash the coastline, causing severe damage. The fish was thrashing about in the water. She was thrashing about in the bed, unable to sleep. We need to thrash out the details of the contract. The team thrashed their opponents in the final game. The team got thrashed in their last match. If you enjoy this content, please consider subscribing to my channel to stay up to date with future videos. Thank you for watching.